Happy New Year. I want to request you before we pray, you greet somebody on both sides with a high five and uh, wish him a Happy New Year. Amen. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you this morning, O oh God. We thank you, dear Father, that Jehovah God, it has pleased you for us to be in the year 2019, O oh King of Glory. We know, dear Father, it is not by might nor by power, but Jehovah Redeemer, we know that it is you who walked with us in the year 2018, O oh God. And we believe, Jehovah Father, we are in the year 2019 because of your grace, King of Glory. We want to thank you this morning as we come together to worship you, O oh God. And dear Lord, we want to thank you because we believe that your presence, Father Lord, is in our midst, O King of glory. And now, Lord, even as we continue to hear from you, O Jehovah Father, we are praying that, King of glory, you may come and speak to us, O God. May you come and speak to us, Jehovah Father, in a way and in a voice that we are going to understand, O King of glory, so that your word, Jehovah Father, this morning, May come, Jehovah Lord, and be a strength in us, O God. May come and help us, Jehovah Father, even to move on and to continue, O King of glory. As we sit now, Lord, we invite your presence, Jehovah Father, to be in our midst, O King of glory. Come and be together with us, Jehovah Lord, and help us, dear Lord, even that this word may get a place in our hearts, Jehovah, so that, Father, even as we go, Jehovah Redeemer, we are not going just the way we came, O oh God. But we believe that, Jehovah Father, you are going to change us, O oh God. You are going to add us more strength, Jehovah Lord, this day to the glory and honor of your name. We thank you and we worship you. And even I, dear Lord, who is standing King of glory, I also commit myself before you. I pray that, Jehovah Father, you may use me as a vessel of honor, Jehovah Lord, this morning. And King of glory, you may bring honor, Jehovah Lord, this day, O King of glory, to your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, O God. And as you speak to the church, dear Father, I am one of them, Lord, I pray. That you may also speak to me, Jehovah Lord. I also need your strength, O God. I also need your word, Jehovah Father, to be able to stand and continue. I commit myself before you now, Jehovah, that you may come and take over. And this we pray, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. You can be seated. I am Samuel Monire because maybe there are people who may be new in this place and I'm born again this morning. I thank God that he has given me a chance to live and also to be there in this new year 2019. When we started the year 2018, Personally, I don't know whether there is somebody in our midst who was very sure, apart from faith, that you are going to see the year ends or the year ending and another year starting. We all had faith that God is going to be with us in that new year. And we all believe that we are going to see another new year. But I want you to remember that there were so many people that we started with in the year 2018 and maybe some of them are not there so I want you to see the grace of God that has been sufficient to every one of us, hallelujah the grace of God that has walked with us and it is good for somebody to say amen, hallelujah because the grace of God has been sufficient to all of us, the grace of God has moved with us there are things that has happened in our lives at times that we may not even understand or tell how they came or how they happened but there is a power, there is uh, the power of God that makes things to happen the way they happen. I was speaking to other people as we were entering the, the new year, this year 2019. And I was telling them that at times you don't even know how you slept last night. You may not tell somebody that uh, sleep came at this time, at exactly this time and then you woke up in the morning and you see we are not like robots that there is a, some power behind the things that we do that is controlling us but there is a power from God hallelujah and that is why somebody said 
It is only a fool who says there is no God. Because the things that happen, at times you may not even know how they are happening. But you realize there is a power behind all these things. Hallelujah. And that is the power of God. So as we move on, please, brothers and sisters, just talk to me and say amen where necessary. Hallelujah. So that, we so that I don't preach alone, you help me preach. So I'm delighted to be in front of you this morning. Uh, the word that is leading us this month of January 2019 talks about Jesus unveils who he was. And the first Sunday we were looking, or the Sunday 6th, it was about Jesus talking that, or saying that he is the bread of life. Hallelujah. This morning, the word that led us, Jesus said that he came to this world and as, as long as he is in the world, he is the light of the world. Hallelujah. Tell somebody the light of the world. When we go to the book of Isaiah, where we had our first reading, we see Isaiah, if you read Isaiah uh, chapter 8 from verse 1, we see that Isaiah was predicting destruction to the kingdom of Israel. He was talking about things that are going to befall on them because of the way that they had left God, because of the way that they, have, they had forsaken God. Hallelujah. So Israel was just about to be uh, left by God to fall in the hands of the Assyrian. And Isaiah was talking about this destruction. And when you go to Isaiah chapter 9, God is using the, uh, the, the prophet Isaiah to prophesy that even though the people of God are going to be in destruction, even though the people of God are going to be uh, through a very hard time, God is promising that he's going to give a light. That is why the Bible says that a great light has come. Hallelujah. So those people that are, have been living in great destruction, the people that have been living in great darkness, God is promising through Isaiah and telling them that he's, uh, he's going to give them a great light. And that is why the book of Isaiah chapter 3 verse 10 says that tell the righteous it shall be well with them. We are just in the 13th day of this year and I have just come to tell you that it is God who brought us from the year 2018. It is God who brought you to this year 2019. We may not be knowing what is going to happen in this year. We may not be knowing what is going to, uh, to, to happen in our lives. Maybe we are doing some businesses or maybe we are employed. We may not know what is going to happen. But God in heaven, I want to tell you and to remind you, as the Bible says in uh, Jeremiah 29 verse 11, that God knows the plans that he has for you. Hallelujah. So when God was telling uh, his servant uh, 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 who took after Moses, uh, God was telling his servant that Joshua, that do not fear. You, you, you just need to be strong and courageous. And these are the words that God is talking to you this morning and talking to me. That it is God who brought us from the last year. And God is promising to give us a great light. We may have been going through darkness, through a great darkness. Maybe there are things that we tried to do last year and they, they were not uh, able. Maybe there is something that you hope that will come uh, 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 through your life last year and it didn't happen. But God is promising you that year 2019 is not like 2018. sana, Because God is going to take you to another level. Hallelujah. If you believe that in me, say amen. God is going to take us through uh, God is going to take us to another level. Even though we have walked in darkness, God is promising to give us a great light. And now Jesus says that as long as he's in the world, he is the light of the world. If you have Jesus, you have a great light. Hallelujah. I just want to tell you this morning that what you need to walk through this year 2019 is just Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. What you just need is the Lord Jesus Christ. 
He is the light of the world. Bwana asifiwe sana. And you, when you have this light, I want to tell you that you are going to to stand. You are going to arise and shine. Isaiah 60 and verse 1 says that arise and shine for the Lord. The Bible says arise let your light shine for all to see for the glory of the Lord rises on you or the glory of God shines on you bwana sifiwe sana this year 2019 i just want to promise you i know that god has worked with us so far because as i started i said we do not know how things have happened for the last 12 days we do not know and here we are in the 13th day and we have faith that we are going to see the end of january and even the end of february and other months until the end of this year that is what i believe myself and i believe that you also believe that and god is going to do great things in our life because this is what god is promising that i am giving you a great light even though you have walked in great darkness even if jesus says or the word of god says in the book of john chapter 3 and verse 19 jesus says that he came to the world the light that was sent from heaven by god when he came to the world the world rejected the light and the bible says that the world loved darkness more than light hallelujah i'm sure that somebody in our midst want to walk with god because i want to tell you that there is nothing that can be able to happen even if you have great plans even if there are so many resolutions that you have things that you are planning to do this year 2019 if you don't have this great light i want to tell you that you are going to walk in great darkness and you are not going to see even where you are this blind man when jesus met this blind man the disciples did not know whether and even they were asking questions is it this man who sinned or his parents and i want you to see the difference between this uh, blind man and the, the blind bartimaeus you see this blind man even did not know that jesus was coming he did not know that jesus was passing but the bible says that when jesus saw him because he had compassion on him he had mercy on him jesus himself because he was sent and he says he is the light as long as he is in this world he is the light that is sent by god and now this man ever since he was born he had lived in great darkness because if you are blind you do not see anything it means that what you can be able to see when if you close your eyes is only darkness you cannot see any light but jesus came to bring light to the to the life of this person and when jesus saw him when he had mercy on him the bible says after after discussing with the disciples he said it is not this man or his parents but this has happened so that the name of the lord may be glorified hallelujah i just want to tell you that i'm not promising that bad things are going to come to your to your life so that god may come but i want to promise you that god is going to walk with you and it is only if you want to walk with him bwana asifiwe sana he told jehoshaphat that i am with you when you are with me so god is going to be with you god is going to walk with you if you choose if you choose to walk with him but if you reject god the bible says that he is also going to forsake you if you forsake god this year 2019 i want to promise you that bad things destruction as it has been uh, recorded in the book of isaiah chapter 8 is going to befall you this year 2019 but if you just make up your mind that it is god who brought me to this year it is god who knows the year i do not know because i have not lived this year and i want to walk with god if you just invite god in your life i want to promise you great things are going to happen in your life hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord church just desire to walk with god because god has desired to walk with you if you do not know that is the reason why God brought you to this year 2019 because God has purposed to walk with you. Hallelujah. You see when this blind man Jesus spat on the ground and he made mud and you see he told this uh, blind man go and wash. 
in the pool of Siloam. There are things that may not just happen, pap. There are things that even if you are waiting on God, sometimes there are things that you are also going to do. You are also going to take your part so that your blessing may come. Because this blind man was just not healed like Bartimaeus. He did not just see instantly. He was told to go and do something. God is calling you to be ready to listen to the voice of God. What God is going to speak to you to do in your life. What God is going to tell you to do so that blessings may come, so that great light may come upon you. Be ready to do it. Be ready to obey the voice of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because God is going to speak to us. Many things God is going to speak to us this year. Let us just open our spiritual heart, uh, our spiritual ears, so that we may hear the voice of the Lord, so that we may be ready to obey, because God is telling us that he is going to walk with us. He is promising a great light. And Jesus, because he lives in us, because we live in him also, we have this great light. Hallelujah. So there is no darkness. And when there is light, darkness cannot withstand the light. Hallelujah. So if you walk with Jesus, if you have this great light in your life, I have just come to promise you that great things are happening this year, 2019. There are things that did not happen last year, as I said, but maybe God wanted to bring you this year, 2019, so that he may fulfill his promises. And remember, the Bible says that the promises of God are yes and amen. Hallelujah. So let us just listen to God. Let us just be ready to obey the voice of the Lord. Let us just be ready to do what God is telling us. And let us also be ready to, uh, to, 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 to receive from him this year, 2019. Let us stand up. Touch me once more. Touch me once more. Touch me once more, oh Lord. Touch me once more. Renew me once more. Renew. Say.
God to touch you in a special way that he did last year so that you can be able to walk with the light so that you can be able to walk in the light so that you can be able to walk not in darkness but in great light because God is promising that he is going to be with us and as long as he is in us he, we have the great light in our life and the Bible is calling us to, to arise and shine because we know and we are sure that Jesus is walking with us this year 2019 and great things are going to happen just tell God to touch you once more tell God to revive you once more this new year because God is promising great things in your life just tell God you want to, think, to see these things happen God is promising to take you to another level this year just tell God to touch you and to revive you once more in the name of Jesus just want to request you to believe with me. Just believe that God is promising great things to happen this year. We have just started this new year and the year is still so young and we have a long way to go to the end of this year and God has promised to walk with us. Let us not think that we, cannot, we can be able to walk alone. Let us not think that we can be able to walk without God. Let's not think that we can be able to do anything without God. But let's know that we need God in our lives. There is nothing more that we need this new year. There is nothing that we need in our, in our lives. There is nothing that we need in our families. We just need God. We just need God in our lives. We just need God in our families. He's the one who is going to see things happening in the, in the way that he has planned. If only we let God in our lives. If only we let him come and take over. We need God. As we make this prayer, just believe that God who brought you to this new year has a good plan and he just knows the plans. He's the only one who knows the plans that he has for you. And God is going to be with us this new year. It doesn't matter how long we have lived in darkness. It doesn't matter how long we have toiled in our problems. God is promising a great light. And the great light is Jesus Christ. Just welcome the Lord in your life. And you are going to walk in this great light in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you this day that God you have spoken your word. Father, you are promising that God, you are going to bring a great light in our lives this new year. You are promising that God, if only Jehovah will welcome you in our lives, we are going to walk in this great light this new year, O oh God. You are promising great things in our lives, Jehovah Father. Maybe there are things that God we were waiting for that la uh, last year. But Jehovah God, maybe they didn't happen, O oh King of Glory. You are promising us, dear Lord, the words that you spoke to your servant Joshua. That we don't just, Jehovah God, have to be afraid. We just need to be strong and courageous, O oh God. And God, we just need to believe in your word. And God, these things are going to happen because your promises, Jehovah, we believe are yes and amen. Maybe there is somebody in our midst, Jehovah Father, who has uh, suffered for, for a long time, O King of Glory, in his life. This blind man had been blind ever since he was born, O God. But one day when Jesus came, the great light that God you sent to us, Jehovah, he brought him back, Jehovah Redeemer. We believe that King of Glory, maybe we have struggled in our lives for long, Jehovah Father, and even for many years and many months and many days. But this day, dear Lord, you are promising 
that you have come you are the great light jehovah redeemer you are going to cause a great light in our lives we are going to walk in your great light oh god in the name of jesus christ and we believe jehovah father as your word has said this morning that king of glory you have you have purposed to walk with us oh god you have purposed jehovah father even to take us to another level oh god we believe that we are not just to be where we were last year but god because we are in this new year jehovah there is a new thing that you are doing in our lives you are going to take us to another level king of glory and come the end of this year jehovah we shall say that dear surely lord you have been walking with us oh god surely you have been with us oh king of glory in the name of jesus christ we want to commit our lives before you oh god this morning we want to commit jehovah god our families before you we release everything unto you dear lord that you may come and take control jehovah redeemer you are the one who was there from the beginning the bible says that king of glory you do not change you are the same yesterday today and you shall be even tomorrow and forever dear lord you are there many years jehovah god even before we were born you told your servant jeremiah that you knew him even before he was born oh lord and you are the one who planned his life oh king of glory even as jehovah this day oh god we know that dear lord you knew us even before we were born even before we were formed in our mother's womb you knew us you had planned jehovah god that we are going to come jehovah god to year 2019 you are jehovah god you planned that we shall be alive this new year oh god Jehovah, we want to thank you, King of glory. Jehovah, we want to thank you because, God, we know that you are there, Jehovah God, even the days that have not yet come, oh God. We believe that you are going to walk with us, Jehovah, because we believe our, our, our life's King of glory are in your good plan, Jehovah Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, dear Lord. We commit ourselves before you, Jehovah. Our prayer, dear Lord, that we pray this morning, is that you help us to open our ears, O oh God, to open our innermost ears, Jehovah Father, to your word. What you are going to tell us to do this new year, O oh God. The blind man was told to go and wash in Islam, O oh dear Father. What you are going to tell us this year, Jehovah Lord, we pray that you may cause us to obey, O oh God, because you are promising blessings, O oh King of glory. Help us to do our part, Jehovah, and so that, Lord, we also let you to do your part, King of glory, and to cause great things to happen in our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, we believe that Jehovah Father, because we are prophesying our, upon our own lives, O oh God, that these great things, Jehovah Redeemer, this great light, O oh God, is going to shine, O oh Jehovah Father, in all our ways and in all our paths, O oh King of glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are also going to shine, O oh Lord. We are also going to shine that the world may see that Jehovah God we have you in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ we want to prophesy blessings upon our children oh God those who are in school oh King of glory this year this year 2019 there are some who are joining form one and some have already gone oh King of glory there are others who are joining university this new year oh God for the Lord we believe Jehovah that you are going to cause things to happen oh God and we want to prophesy great things, Jehovah, upon the lives of our families, O oh God, upon the lives of our, our children, dear Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, dear Lord. You have started, you have started with us this new year, O oh God. We believe that you are going to walk with us. And Jehovah Lord, we know that you are going to fight for us, O oh God, because we believe that you are on our side, Jehovah. Our enemies this year, 2019, are not going to laugh at us, O oh God are not going to swallow us alive, Jehovah, because God, you shall be there for us. You shall fight for us, O oh dear Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. They shall come, Jehovah God, in one way, O King of glory, but they shall, uh, Jehovah Lord, run from us in seven different ways, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, because this is your word, O King of glory, and we believe in you, Jehovah. We release ourselves to, uh, unto you, O oh God, that you may come and be with us, O God. For all this we pray, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you.